वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू जनरल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी लेक्चर सीरीज इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एंड इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट हिस्ट्री ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी हिस्ट्री ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी स्टार्ट्स इन 60s विद द डिस्कवरी ऑफ एनिमल क्यूल्स बाय एंटोन वैन लुएनहोग The period from 1857 to 1914 has been appropriately named as the golden age of microbiology due to amazing discoveries about microorganisms. So whenever we discuss history of microbiology first we look at the discovery of a cell. The first name comes in cell theory is Robert Hooke who invented microscope Robert Hooke was an Englishman who after observing a thin slice of cork reported to the world that life's smallest structural units were little boxes or cells Hooke's discovery marked the beginning of the cell theory the theory that describes that all living things are composed of cells Anton van Leeuwenhoek who was recognized as father of microbiology and even in some books as a father of bacteriology due to discovery of microorganisms means he was the first scientist who first discovered the micro world in den holland he was busy in his business of dry goods and he was working as a inspector of wells and mills and also as a code surveyor anton van leeuwenhoek was familiar with the use of magnifying glasses for inspecting fiber and weaving cloth his in his free time he ground pieces of glass into fine lenses placing them between two silver plates and finally became successful to invent a simple microscope He observed sample of greenish cloudy water from a marshy lake outside the dalf and saw hundreds of tiny organisms and he named them as animal cules. He also examined sample from the rainwater the material from his own teeth and fecal material. Edward Jenner a young british physician in 1796 found a way to protect people from the smallpox a deadly viral disease during his work a young milkmaid informed him that she could not get smallpox because she already had been sick from cowpox as a conclusion means due to cowpox she could not get the smallpox jenner decided to put the girl's story to the test first he collected the scraping from cowpox blisters then he injected the cowpox scrapings to a healthy 8 years old boy by scratching the arm with a box contaminated needle the scratch turned into a raised bump however in a few days boy became mildly sick but recovered and never again contracted either cowpox or even smallpox The process was called as vaccination from the Latin word vacca meaning cow. Louis Pasteur gave it this name in the honor of Jenner's work. Louis Pasteur, a big name in the discovery of microbiology. He was born in 1822 and died in 1895. Pasteur was also recognized as father of microbiology or we can say father of modern microbiology 
he gave germ theory of fermentation and idea about the germ theory of disease so what is the fermentation the process of fermentation was reported by louis pasteur when he was busy in french wine industry to find out why wine and beer sold at that time many scientists believe that air converts the sugar in these fluids into alcohol means they believed that air was the responsible for converting these sugars into alcohol however pasteur did not accept this statement and he found that there are certain microorganisms called yeast convert the sugar to alcohol in the absence of air the process was called as the fermentation and it was used to make wine and beer however the soaring and spoilage was caused by some other types of the microorganisms called as bacteria and in the presence of air these bacteria may come and change the alcohol in acetic acid and other beverages so the pasteur gave the solution to the spoilage of problem that heat the beer and wine just enough to kill most of these type of the bacteria that cause the spoilage and this process was called as the pasteurization so now if we talk about the germ theory of the disease what is the germ theory of the disease the microorganisms may cause the disease this idea was known as the germ theory of disease since pasteur's work indicated that if these type of the microorganisms can be responsible for soaring of wine and beer so maybe they may also cause the diseases in humans however the germ theory of disease was a very difficult concept for many people to accept at that day time because for centuries the disease was believed to be a punishment for an individual crimes or misdeeds louis pasteur also resolved the issue of biogenesis and abiogenesis theory he successfully disproved the abiogenesis theory pasteur also developed the number of vaccine and the best vaccine was known as the rabies vaccine at that time a 9 year old boy had been bitten by a rabbit dog and the pasteur administered the vaccine and the boy who was on the risk of death survived and became the first person to be immunized against rabies disease joseph lister lister in 1860 applied the germ theory to medical procedures and he gave the process of disinfection lister first time used phenol which was known as the carbolic acid to kill bacteria and began treating the surgical wound robert koch a german scientist who was born in 1843 and died in 1910 robert koch was also recognized as father of microbiology in some books due to the best discovery in the field of microbiology he was the first scientist who gave the first proof that bacteria cause disease so if we talk about the germ theory of the disease that was just idea that microorganisms may cause the disease 
However, he was the first scientist who proved that bacteria cause disease. Koch discovered the rod-shaped bacteria called Bacillus anthracis in the blood of cattle that had died due to the anthrax disease. He injected blood from a diseased cattle or even from a diseased sheep and performed the autopsies and observed the same symptoms. Again, he injected blood from the diseased animal into a healthy mice and the symptoms appeared within the hours. Finally, co confirm the cause of anthrax as a bacterium bacillus anthracis. Koch's postulates Robert Koch established a sequence of experimentally steps to confirm directly relationship of a specific microbe to a specific disease means Koch's postulates can be used to confirm any specific bacteria to cause a specific disease. Number one, a specific causative agent microorganisms must be found in a specific disease. Number two, the same microorganism must be isolated in pure culture. They pure culture should produce same disease when injected into a healthy susceptible animal and finally the same microorganism must be recovered or reisolated from the susceptible animal. Robert Koch also developed the pure culture technique, reported tuberculosis means discovered the bacterium mycobacterium tuberculosis also investigated cholera malaria sleeping sickness diseases walther hess an associate of robert Koch, who introduced agar agar a solidifying agent used in nutrient media on some occasion during the work Robert Koch became depressed as he failed to use specific solid material in nutrient media. He wanted to isolate the bacterial colonies on solid media. He always used the gelatin but at high temperature gelatin turned to liquid and certain types of bacteria producing a chemical substance such as gelatinous to digest the gelatin. At that time, Walter has suggested to use seaweed dried powder called as agar, which was obtained from a seaweed algae called as rhodophysi. Walter has got this idea from his wife Fanny Hess, who always use agar to solidify her gems and jellies. The formula passed to her by her mother who learned it from Dutch friends. Agar at that time after using the agar, the Robert Koch became so much impressed by this formula as Agar was so much valuable as it does not liquefy even at high temperature. Paul Ehrlich, a German scientist who gave dreams of a magic blood. What's the meaning of dreams of a magic blood? Means he observed that a chemical agent could hunt down and destroy a pathogen without harming the infected host. He first gave the term 
chemotherapy and found salvation a chemical chemotherapeutic agent effective against syphilis disease so the science of microbiology has many more discoveries some more are listed as Julius Petri in 1887 invented petri dish Hans Christian Ram in 1884 developed the Gram's staining technique Theodor Schertz in 1885 discovered Escherichia coli Alexander Fleming in 1928 developed the first antibiotic penicillin Ferdinand Cohn devised the term bacterium in 19th century he also categorized bacteria as bacterium means short rod bacilli means longer rods and spirilla is a spiral form